when hope is gone, undo this lock and send me forth on a moonlit walk. Release restraint level zero. Dead body. Hi guys, this is the Void of the Ravenclaw. Welcome back to another fanfiction story. Let's get right back into this story. The next morning, Izuku wasn't surprised to see Ivy wrapped around his waist, fast asleep. Like normal, Harley was already gone for work, so he just enjoyed the comfort that Ivy always makes him feel when, uh, when they're sharing the same bed. As he has a slight, a slight smile on his face as he gently stroked her red, her, sorry, her beautiful red hair. He cares about Harley deeply, but Ivy has a special place in his heart. For some reason, he always f feels a little more at ease when Ivy's around, when he's around her presence. But when it comes to Harley, he quite enjoys her playful attitude and her view on life. Like she tries to find fun in anything, anything she, she does. She has a childlike innocence towards life. It's, it's refreshing to him. The, uh, despite all the pain she's been through. She still has a playful attitude. E even, though, even though most people in her shoes would curse the world and their life. When he finally decided to get up. He tried to gently get out of bed, but uh, but Ivy had other plans as she tightened her grip on onto him. Where do you, where do you think you're going? I'm not ready to get out of bed yet, and it's still pretty early. You don't have to go to UA in like four hours. That means the next four hours, I have you all to myself. I know when I'm beat. As he lay back down and snuggled. With Ivy close to him. Ivy simply had her eyes closed with a smile, with a slight smile on her face. A little bur a little crazy blonde birdie told me that you already made up your mind about the two of us. And yes. Get your butt. Yes, I did. After thinking upon it for a few days. I came to the realization we already act as couples, so there's no longer need for me to think about it. We are way past the line between being involved in simple friendship. By now, uh, by now, I might as well man up and treat you two like you should be treated. And the three of us feel the same way, so I didn't see the point of dragging this out. I might be new to this relationship thing. I might stumble upon uh, upon the way. But my feelings for you and Harley will never change. Good answer. As she gently kissed Izuku on the lips. And I do and I do know you slept with Harley. She told me it. She she told me after all. She is my best friend. So now it's my turn for your personal uh, uh, personal uh, attention. As she mounts, Izuku took off her top as they begin to passionately kiss each other. As she covered the both of them with a blanket. As as they both spend some quality time. That lasted about two and a half hours. As Izuku finally got out of bed and started getting dressed. While Ivy is wearing her nightgown. As she embraced Izuku and hugged him from behind. You know I had to leave soon. Yeah, I know. When will you be back? I don't think I have any hero courses today, but that might change. It should be a fairly short day for, uh, for me today. Good. 
I don't have to go in today or or in the next couple days. The weekend's approaching after all. I just want to spend the rest of the day with you. You could always come by during lunch. I wouldn't mind that. I'll definitely be there. I'll make sure you have a proper lunch so you don't have to eat that nasty cafeteria food at, at that UA place. Thanks, I'm actually looking forward to that. Looking forward to eating your cooking. I don't think I've ever ate anything that you cooked before. Hardly used it. Hardly usually do all the cooking. I might not be as good as as her when it comes to cooking food, but I'm not terrible at it either. All right, I'll let you go now. As she walked with Izuku to the front door, as she gave him a kiss goodbye before he left. See you in a little bit. As she gave him a seductive wink. I'll see you in a few, Ivy. As Ivy watches Izuku walk down the street to make his way to UA. As she closed the door to get dressed herself and a couple and and do a couple of things around the house be uh, before she visited Izuku during his lunch break. When he finally entered class 1A, he was greeted by Kirishima and his best friend Mina. As he made his way to his seat between Jiro and Kara. Morning class. Today is going to be a fairly easy. Easy day. We're going to do a couple of teamwork exercises. Then then you're going to go go to your regular classes. It will be fairly it will be a fairly early day for you all. I'll be I'll be pairing you up in in teams of 2. Your partner will be based off your abilities. And whatever I decide to 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 uh, to pair up. It's whatever strikes my fancy. Miss Kent. You're going to be partner up. Uh, your partner will be Izuku. Bakugo. You will be partner up with Kirishima. Mina, you will be paired up with Sue. And your partner, young Todoroki, will be, you will be paired up with Miss Momo over here. As she started to pair up the rest of the class, she was mostly curious how Momo and Todoroki would work with each other. They have some sort of personal relationship with each other. They seem to talk often with each other. Black, a black canary, they have some sort of friendship. So they might work well with each other. And she's just, she's just curious. But it doesn't really matter in the long run. She knows you don't have to like the person to work well with them. You just have, you're just, sorry. It's not about your personal feelings. It's all about getting the job done. Regardless if you like the person you're working with or not. But it does help if you like them. As she turns to her partner, we haven't had a chance to in interact with each other yet, but I'm looking forward to this. You seem the type to guy to think things through, so I have no doubt we we will work well with each other. It's true we haven't talked we haven't talked with each other yet. I have no doubt you'll pull your own weight. I have no problem key, uh, keeping up with you for this little teamwork exercise, as long as. As long as I don't get paired up with that angry blonde, I'm fine with it. I feel the same way. I clear. I clearly don't like the guy. Well, it looks like Sensei is going to show us where to go. Sure, right behind you. As Izuku nonchalantly put his hands in his jacket pocket as he follows Sukara and Black Canary to to the field where where they be doing their little teamwork exercises. All right, class. This is this is how it's going to work. One group will will enter the man the man made city. You have fifty minutes to strategize strategize a plan with your partner. After that time frame has passed, I'll send uh, I'll I'll send I'll send your other oh, I'll send uh, other team in. Your job is either to capture your your opposing team with this capture tape, 
or two, or or you and your teammate are are no longer able to continue to continue the fight. I will be I will be observing the whole course. First up is Iziku and Kara versus Todoroki and Momo. Which team wants to go and enter the mini manager city first? Me, uh, me and my partner don't mind for Momo and Todoroki to go in first. Doesn't really matter to us either way. I'm in agreement with with Midoriya. Come on, Momo. Let's let's get this done. Black Canary walks towards Kara and put a hand on her shoulder. Hold back. Your strength in this is this is sorry. Hold back. This is not about your strength. This is about teamwork. Not to over overpower your opponent. Completely understand. I wasn't I, I was gonna hold back anyways. I don't want to hurt them. And I have a feeling my partner is gonna go after Todoroki. And after all, I have this and she holds up a small metal box. I knew I could count on you. As she knows what as Black Black Canary knows exactly what's in the small box. I'll let you strategize with your partner. Good luck, you two. Izuku wasn't close enough to overhear Black Canary and Kara. He had no idea what they were talking about, but he knew it was serious. It, sorry, it was a serious conversation. It was none of his business, and he had no attention to pry in, in, into their private conversation. So, what's the plan, partner? Almost seems the type to want to work with each other, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know much about Todoroki. He wasn't... He hasn't really interacted with anyone. I have no idea what type of ability he has, so it would be in our best interest to keep his... to keep our guard up. Izuku is clearly lying to his partner. He knows exactly what type of cork he has. He he's heard some rumors that he he refuses to use his fire side, so he's going to see if he could get that out of him. Even if he has to go a little, little too far to get it to get him to use it. Very well, I'll handle Momo. I'll leave the anti-social guy to you. After all, it it would be an interesting to it would be interesting fight to see the two anti-socials fight each other. Funny, despite your jab at my personality, it's a solid plan. I'll I'll apply pressure on Todoroki so whatever plan they came up with, they'll be unable to perform it. We'll separate them, then we'll divide and conquer. Sounds like a plan. When their time came to enter the miniature city, Izuku wasn't surprised to see Todoroki waiting for him with Momo by his side. Good, you're here, Midoriya. I knew this is what. Sorry, give me a second, guys. No, this is not what you expected. It doesn't matter what type of plan we came up with. We don't know the the extent of your abilities. Nor do I need. Nor nor do I need a plan to to defeat you. I watched your fight with Spock ago. Your ability is no match for mine. Prepare to lose. Give me some distance, Momo. I'll leave the blonde American girl to you. Understood, Todoroki. Be be careful. Don't take him lightly. I have a feeling he's hiding his true extent of his abilities. Understood. Get going. As Todoroki gets in a battle stance. Good luck, partner. As she follows Momo deeper in into the major city. Lee, leaving her partner and Todoroki by themselves. The moment his partner went to fight her own opponent, he immediately entered one of his battle stance. As the two opponents begin to stare down each other, looking for the slightest weakness to capitalize on. Todoroki's inner thoughts. I, I don't see any weakness in his stance. I, I have a feeling this is not going to be as easy as I originally thought. I need to gauge him before I could go into using my my eyes. 
Let's see what he's made of. At the same time, Izuku and Todoroki rush towards each other. In engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dodging and, sorry, dodging and blocking each other's strikes. As they both give out a right kick across each other's legs. Well, as they are... Sorry, as their legs cross each other. As they both jump backwards to get some distance. As they both rush towards each other. As they land a hit on... on sorry. As they both land a hit on each other's faces with their fists at, at the same time. As, as Izuku tried to leg sweep Todoroki only to see Todoroki jump over his leg. And land a vicious spin kick across Izuku's face. As he's pushed, as he's pushed back a little bit. As he pushed past the pain. And ran towards him and began to kick him across the face and grab and grab onto Todoroki's shoulder and land a vicious knee in, into his stomach then a vicious palm strike across his face then then land a vicious spin kick uh, of his own across his face making Todoroki slide backwards a little bit he just had enough time to barely block the kick I'm not afraid to admit it, this Midoriya. I'm highly enjoying this fight. How about we kick it up a notch, shall we? Toroki begins to create ice and shoot them towards Izuku. Only for his ice attack to go around his opponent as Izuku extend his hand out and shot the same ice that that, to that Todoroki shot at him, back at him. Oh, back at Todoroki. He barely had enough time to create a ice wall, blocking the shards of ice that got tossed right back at him. So that's your ability. Ice. Alright, I'll play along. Let's see who's better. Let's see whose ice is better, mine or yours. Izuku clearly know what his abilities are, but he's just playing a fool. What the hell you're talking about, Midoriya? I know you. I know for sure you only have telekinesis. That is true, Todoroki, with a smirk on his face. But with telekinesis, I have access to many abilities that would be considered unnatural. You're a funny one. Even amidst the battles, you're cracking jokes. Nice Star Wars reference, though. Sorry, Todoroki. Could I couldn't help myself. Despite my Star Wars reference, I wasn't kidding. Immediately, long ice shards begin to be created surrounding Shoto. Let's see you get out of this one, Mr. Ice Master. How? How's that even possible? Telekinesis. As he still has a smirk on his face. Tele a telekinesis is not just to move objects around. It has many aspects to it. And my telekinesis is very powerful. Even on the border of being very OP. More dodging, less talking. With his telekinesis, he shot all the ice spikes towards his opponent. As Todoroki dodged and weaves, barely dodging several of the ice spikes. As, as he has several cuts on his cheek from the ice barely cutting cutting his skin on his face without saying another word he 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 uses um, he uses telekinesis to create several fireballs from manipulating the oxygen in the atmosphere and tossing them towards Todoroki without giving him the time to breathe or or to think of a plan Todoroki had no choice but to Focus on defense and evade. What the hell? Telekinesis, fire, and ice? What what whoa, sorry. What else can can he even do? This is clearly It's clearly insane. I can do I can do a lot of things, Todoroki. What the hell? You uh, you can even read minds? 
I might have some ability with telepaths, but I don't need to read your mind to know what you're thinking. I can tell I can tell what you're thinking just by your facial expression alone. Let's move it along, shall we? I think it's about time I get serious. As he tosses his jacket off to the side, as he cracks his neck and cracks his knuckles, immediately when he took a step forward, he merely he merely turned invisible because he's using Todoroki. As he's looking frank, uh, frank around, basically looking around, panic panicking to see to see if he could spot uh, spot any footsteps. Sensei, I think it'd be a good idea to to stop this be before it gets out of hand. I never once seen Izuku take off his leather jacket during during his fight with Bakugo. I have a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, Kirishima. If things get out of hand, I'll intervene and all might on standby anyways. No way, the, the, the number one hero? Indeed. Now shut up and watch the battle. As everyone is watching the fight in the observing room by the big monitor, it seems like things are heating up pretty fast. Hello, Miss Canary. I figured you would show, show up eventually, All Might. I wouldn't miss this fight. Both these, uh, both those boys have great potential. They would make a devastating team. Before the rest of the class, sorry, before the rest of the class get overexcited, she glared at everyone to, to keep quiet as everyone gulp and keep their mouth shut. Sorry guys, give me a second guys. I gotta admit, you you got away with young people's or young people. I don't know how the other teachers teach their class, but but in my classroom, they will behave accordingly. Now class, I suggest you pay attention. We cut to Momo and Kara's fight. One moment, Momo. I like to keep things fair. Be a uh, be uh, between us. What do you mean, Kara? Tell you later. As she takes out a, as she takes up and out of a, a little metal box she has, as she takes out a golden crib night ring, that will temporarily remove her powers, so she could have a fair fight with Momo. What's with the ring? It's a secret. As both girls started to get into a fighting stance, as they begin to fight, unfortunately for Momo, their skill levels are not on the same level. As Kara was trained by Amazons, personally, by she was personally trained by Wonder Woman, after all. Kara landed several solid hits uh, on her opponent. Momo created a staff midway through their fight, but that didn't... But that still didn't give her the edge. Momo tried her best to hit Kara with the staff. But as she just effortlessly dodged out of the way. And finally had enough and disarmed Momo. And tripped her with his own staff. As she struck her to the back of the head. Knocking her out. As Kara catches her before she hits the ground. As she gently put her on the ground. Then she immediately... Put her, put cat, cat, sorry, capture tape around her. As she took off the ring and put it back into the small metal box and put it back in, in her pouch. As she, as she could hear uh, the sounds of battle in the distance. Then she made her way over to her partner. When she finally got to the location, to her, her partner's location, she simply stayed there to watch the fight. She doesn't want to interfere on unless she has to. And her powers are slowly re slowly returning. Only 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 power she has currently is her durability. 
some of her durability. Kara was confused that she saw Todoroki getting beat down by by uh by a invisible force. As Todoroki made ice spikes covering the whole area in attempts to injure Izuku so he so so he could figure out his location. Only only for Izuku to reappear in front of in front of um Todoroki landing a vicious combination strike starting with a right hook to the face then landing several palm strikes in his chest, followed up by ramming his knee into his face by grabbing onto his head as, as he grabbed a firm grip on his hair and tossed him into the nearby buildings. God damn it, he still refuses to use his fire. I guess I'm going to have to do this the hard way. I really don't want to cripple you, Todoroki, so I suggest you give up. I don't enjoy beating down weak opponents. Because Izuku called him weak, it had the opposite effects on Todoroki. And Izuku knows that. If he's anything like his father, he's a hothead. Dare you to say that again, Midoriya. As Todoroki struggles to get up, as he wipes the blood from his mouth, or from his face. You're weak. It's not that hard to figure out. You're smart. You're a smart guy. Use that brain of yours. It's not rocket science. I'm not weak, you bastard. That's where we agree to agree to disagree. With your current abilities, with your eyes, you can't beat me. You're weak. I could easily end this if I wanted to, but instead, I decided to give you a fighting chance. This is just sad, really. You're clearly wasting my time. Fine, you brought this on yourself, Midoriya. I didn't want to use this on you, but you leave me no choice. To Todoroki created his ice glacier, covering Izuku completely. As he's breathing heavy, thinking he 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 actually won, as as he has a smirk on his face. Before Kara could react, she uh she saw her partner completely unharmed on the right of the glacier, this dragging his hands across the surface. Well, that was quite an impressive attack. Is that all you got? If so, I'm highly disappointed. Ow, that was my most powerful attack. I'm sure my attack landed. What the hell did you do? If you used that attack on anyone else, you would have won. But I'm not just nobody. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Izuku, Mo I am Izuku Midoriya. Esper. He would consider me a first-gen esper. I really don't care about titles. They're meaningless in the end. What matters, I'm strong. And you're clearly weak. This is how I invaded your your impressive attack. As he teleported and re-teleported right next to Shudoroki, or Todoroki, placing his hand on his shoulder. Now, what are you going to do now? No matter what you do, Todoroki, you can't beat me. Your ice is completely useless against me. I could easily conjure fire to, to, to melt it if I chose to, sorry, if I chose to, uh, I mess it up, if I so desire. I hope you have more on the table than your ice. After all, isn't your father Endeavor? Then second ranking hero in Japan. Don't you dare say a thing. That bastard's not my father. Think I hit a nerve. I got to say. He must be highly disappointed in you. I would if I was your father. I did some digging on you. And... And you are this so-called ultimate weapon he created. Pathetic, really. I told my partner I didn't know anything about your abilities. Of course, that was a lie. Why don't you use your fire? Or are you too weak to use your, abil your ability? The ball's in your court. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to end this. I'm going to make, sh make sure you use your fire. And 
and if I have to break a few bones to do so, so be it. As he teleported away, dodging a fist that was coming coming to his face, or dodging a fist that was aiming for his face, as he reappeared a little bit backwards, a, a distance away from Todoroki, Izuku clearly sees the fire erupting from his right side, just by pure rage alone. So grow the fuck up. So what, you have daddy issues? Who fucking cares? Man up. Use your full extent of your powers. You goddamn fucking idiot. Unleash your full cork. Not only half, not only half of it, you goddamn fucking coward. If you don't do it, it's a good possibility you're going to die here. The simple fact that you have the fire or the firepower that you only use half of your abilities, it pisses me off. I'm trying this again. I hate it when people half-ass it. And I'm done playing around. As he lifts up the glacier with his telekinesis, as he shattered it in, in hundreds, almost thousands of small ice shards, as they all turn towards Todoroki, all surrounding him. Stop it, Izuku. You're going to kill him. As she begins to run towards the Izuku, Stay out of it. As he threw her across the mini city, slamming her into several buildings with a flick of his wrist. As Kara is no longer in the area now. Here, either you're going to use your fire or you're going to die. Come on, Todoroki. Use it. I don't want to add, as right now he's speaking, he's thinking upon himself right now. Come on, Todoroki. Use it. I don't want to add your name to the list of people that I've killed. I know, I know if I kill him, I, I have a one-way ticket to Tartarus, and my dreams would be dead. You need to get over your personal issues and do it fast. It pisses me off you remind me of me before Harley, Harley and Ivy save me. I'm doing this for your own good. Even if... E, e, oh sorry, even if the rest of the class don't see it that way. All right, thing, all right things are getting out of hand. All Might, s stop this madness. It's clearly the boys lost it. When she turned around to see All Might, All Might's facial expression, she was shocked by his facial expression as he was smiling. As she was highly confused by, by, uh, by All Might, why he's smiling. I don't think that's necessary, Miss Canary. M the young Midoriya knows what he's doing. What do you mean he knows what he's doing? He's trying to kill a, kill a, flash, a fellow classmate. That's, that's freaking obvious. That's not what he's doing. He's giving him... Oh, sorry, give me guys. I do agree he's taking this to a far too extreme method but the but the young man's just trying to help his fellow classmate out young Toroki has a lot of family issues and it seems young Midoriya found that out somehow even if the boy doesn't use his fire I highly doubt he will allow the ice to to kill him uh, at least I hope I hope that's not really that's not really reassuring all might that cork you have it's yours, not your goddamn loser of a father. Stop letting him hold you back and fight back. As he's screaming at Todoroki at this point, as Todoroki unleashed all his frustrations that uh, that he's been holding towards his own father, as he unleashed his fireside, completely melting the ice glacier that's around him, as Todoroki falls down to one knee, breathing heavy, as he's to extend his hand out for Todoroki to take it. Feel better now? Black Canary, I know you I I know you're listening. I surrender. Shoto is completely shocked by a uh, by his surrender. What are you doing? You have won that you have won this, clearly. As he grabbed onto Izuku's hand, 
as the, as the green hair boy help, helped him up. You could have, you won this. Why did he even surrender? Why did he even surrender? It was never about winning for me, Todoroki. You, you were right. You remind me how I used to be. And it pissed me off. If you want to continue to use your fire, it's, or not, it's on you. It's your quirk, not your father's. You know that. You have intelligence. I suggest you use that brain you have there. See you around, Todoroki. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll fight again. Wait, was that the hack? Were you acting the whole time? As Izuku turns his head back at Todoroki, as he has a smirk on his face, as he walked up to pick up his jacket and put it and put it on, as he walked up, as as he walked up to Kara, or walking towards Kara, as he didn't answer Todoroki whatsoever, a few moments after of walking, he finally got to Supergirl's location. She's still, uh. It, it, she's uh, she's still laying uh, laning against the wall that she crashed into. Highly upset. That wasn't very nice, Midoriya. You you didn't kill him, did you? No, I didn't. He got his shit together at the last moment. What what sorry? What would happen if he didn't? He would have been sincerely injured if he didn't outright die. And I would have took any punishment if that would have happened. I'm sorry about attacking you. I kind of need you out of the way. I'm still so pissed off at you right now. I can't believe you actually attacked me. <sighs> Fine. I might forgive you if you be my friend. I understand now that you're only trying to help him. But you kind of went extreme. Your method is way too extreme, Izuku. I might not like the message you did, but you did get the necessary results, judging by your smile you have on your face. Sure, why not? We, we could be friends. As he pulled up his partner up to her feet, when Izuku got back to the rest of the class, a canary grabbed, by, grabbed him by the collar shirt and slammed him against the wall. What the hell was that? I don't know what you're talking about, Teach. As he slapped her hand away from him, as he walked away, I'm going to get myself cleaned up, Sensei. We're far from being done here. I know we're not. As he, as, as he walks away, God damn that boy. All right, everyone take a 15 minute break. Then when I cool down, we'll continue. A good portion of the class rushed towards Todoroki to see if he was alright. Why are you on my face? We just want to see if you're okay. Midoriya went way too far. No, he didn't. As much as I hate to admit it, I needed that push. He gave me a lot to think about. Now, you might excuse me. I need to clean up. As he simply walked away from everyone, not giving, giving them a... Uh, another word. Until he walked into the locker room where, where, where Izuku's at. You, you know the rest of the class might hate you for this. That's their problem, not mine. I did what I needed to do. Did, I, sorry, I did what needed to be done. I'm not going to apologize to you or anyone else. I felt like doing that. I just, I just felt like doing it. That's all. Thanks, anyways. You're not a bad guy, even though you highly p uh, pissed me off during our match. That was supposed to be meant for teamwork that didn't really pan out too well. But you have earned my respect and my friendship. Izuku started to laugh at, out of nowhere, making Sh Sh um, Shoto very irritated. What do you find so funny, Midoriya? Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It seems I'm making... A whole lot of, of friends nowadays. I'm not going... I'm going to tell you something that I haven't told anyone outside of only two people. As 
as Shoto sat down on the bench to to listen to Izuku. I'm not like the rest of the class. I have taken lives before. Many lives that I have killed, or many people that I have taken, were evil and innocent alike. E even though I was under some sort of mind control at, at the time. That's why I'm here. I'm here to make up for, for my past mistakes. Think of a re... Think of me trying to redeem my re redeem myself. And I'm glad you used your fire because I really didn't want to add your name to the to to uh, to the long list of people that I've killed. Like I said back uh back outside, you remind me of the old me. The reasons for holding back are co are completely different. But uh, but I did see the similarities between the two of us. Until I was saved one day by the loves of, of the loves of my life, Harley and Ivy. Loves. My girlfriends. That's a that's a new oh uh, that's a new occurrence. Though, away, you have more than one. I mean, most guys would fascinate or fantasize about that. Well, damn, man. I really don't know what to say. Before Easy could just leave the room, Sho uh, Shoto stopped him from B uh, B uh, before he could leave the room. By the way, man, thanks. Thanks for getting my my head out of my ass. No problem, man. I didn't I didn't attend this academy to make friends. But it seems like that's not going to happen anytime soon. Everyone wants to clear, clearly be my friend for some reason I don't understand. But I'll see you when I'll see you when you get back. And if you need any help with your little fire problem, just hit me up. Like I said outside, it's up to you if you want to use your fire again or or not. After all, it's your power. See you around. As he walked out of the locker room only to be met by All Might. If, if you're here to yell at me. Like Black Canary. Oh sorry. If you're here to yell at me. Black Canary most likely we're going to do, uh, do that for you. I have no intention of lecturing you. Young Midoriya. Even though you went, uh, you went about it. The wrong way. But I do understand why you did it. To think you took your time to help a fellow classmate. I'm quite I'm I'm quite impressed and proud of you, my boy. Let's just keep that between us. After all, I have a reputation to uh, to uh, to uphold. All oh, might. It's good to see you again. Well, I need to get back to my class before Black Canary has more to reason to lecture me. But unknown to Izuku, All Might, and Shoto. Jiro, Jiro overheard his whole conversation with Toto, with Shoto, and and or and All Might, with with her ear with, with her ear jacks, as she used around the corner, as she ran off to tell the others, so everyone don't start to hate M Midoriya. After hearing why he did it, she's no longer angry at him. She knows, she knows he meant well. He tried to help his own way, even though it was very stupid and very overboard. That's where we're going to cut it. Hope you guys have a good nine days during my time zone. I'll catch you in the next video.